Devices tasked with transporting medication around the human body have to be microscopic in size. They also need to be self-propelled in order to reach their destination, such as a tumor. An international research team at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart has succeeded in constructing such minuscule but mobile vessels. They would be deployed in human bodily fluids or even individual cells. These are extremely small structures, sometimes just a few hundred atoms long. They're so small that we can guide them very precisely through biological tissue. This micro scallop moves forward using simple rowing movements. The speed of the scallop varies depending on the viscosity of the bodily fluid. The thinner the fluid, the lower the resistance and the faster the movement. The micro swimmers progress more swiftly in the fluid when they open slowly and close quickly. Even further down the scale, and therefore more promising for microscopic deployment, are corkscrew-shaped nanohelixes. They're 1,000 times thinner than a human hair. Creating them was a whole new challenge for the scientists in Stuttgart. The minuscule helixes grow layer by layer on a rotating disk. you need a microscope to control their mobility. Nanopropellers move forward on a magnetic field. The scientists add metal to the tiny devices to be able to power them. The helix itself is made of glass, but we've built in a tiny element of nickel, which is magnetic. We can use the magnetic field to rotate the helix. It then behaves like a screw, drilling its way forward. The helixes are small enough to access cells, but getting them there has yet to be discovered. Deployment in body tissue such as the eye is a likely option. One possible use would be to access the retina. The nanopropellers could transport medicine or a pharmaceutical agent to be applied locally. The great thing is they could be withdrawn via rotation in reverse from the vitreous humor with a minimum of invasion. Miniature machines shuttling back and forth inside our bodies is neither magic nor science fiction. Under lab conditions at least, it's now reality.